Okay, here today we have a Power One Aurora 5 kilowatt inverter, and you can see on the screen here it's actually displaying RISO low, and we've got a red light on which uh, underneath it says GFI. Now, GFI stands for ground fault indication, and so this is uh, indicating that there is a ground fault with the system. Now, um, this is this is usually going to be a problem with uh, leakage to earth on the uh, over the positive and negative on the DC side. So somewhere between the solar panels and the inverter, there's a problem usually when it, when we uh, see a riso low uh, error like this and a GFI light on. So um, look, the first thing we can try is uh, just rebooting the system. And so you can see a shutdown procedure. It's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure properly. You turn off the AC solar supply main switch first, then we f we turn off the DC PVRA main switches. Okay, so here we have the switchboard. You see our solar supply main switch, so we'll just flick that down there. And we also have our PVRA main switch. In this case, there's two, so we'll turn them both off. And we'll let the uh, system uh, reboot and restart and uh, see if we can restart it and uh, make any difference. So an error like this is usually caused by uh, moisture. That's one of the main things you, you tend to see. Um, it could be a problem with the panels and they actually are getting moisture into them or it could be moisture getting into some plugs on the roof or maybe an isolator on the roof or maybe uh, cables being squashed somewhere, damaged somewhere. Uh, so yeah, they're the main things that we uh, usually look for in this case. So you see the system's uh, shut down here so we'll just reboot the system now. So it just uh, doesn't really matter turning back on but we'll turn on the uh, DC here, keep your ray and then the solar supply. And uh, let it start up and see see what we come up with. So we got our count down there. Next connection in 52 seconds. Now we'll see what we get. Here we are. It's measuring riso there, so it's measuring the earth leakage, and you see it didn't even go for the countdown. It's come up. Okay, it's detected. The riso is low, 1.07 mega ohm to earth. So uh, the grid fault indicator, well, ground fault indicator, sorry, light is uh, lit up again, and you can see the problem is we, we've, we've got the problem again there. So in this case, it's definitely an issue um, on the uh, solar DC side, so we've got to check out that side. Now, in this case, um, I've already had a look at this, and we've actually got some dodgy panels on the roof, which actually have had moisture ingress into them. So uh, there's going to be some panels replaced under warranty in this case. And so uh, we'll get that sorted out and you can see that riso low errors come up again. So like I said, if you are having the riso low fault uh, displaying on your power one inverter and you've tried rebooting the system and you're still getting the problem, um, look, you really, it's best to talk to a solar accredited electrician and uh, if you're on the Gold Coast or Brisbane the uh, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help if you're somewhere else well I'd recommend uh, trying to uh, googling a local accredited installer and uh, yeah good luck of getting it sorted out thanks for watching this video